select the light, press G. Press G to move it in front of the cabinet. Press 1 to go to the front view, move it a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, we can basically set up our lighting uh, already. So press 7 to go to the top view. Click somewhere here. And go to the front view by pressing 1 and click uh, on somewhere this area top of our cabinet and press the space bar at lamp hemi hemi light go to object the shading buttons select the light icon uh, take the energy down to about seven six three and uh, we're gonna change the the light color of the light a bit not dramatically but just a bit so you can change uh, choose one of the colors from here oh. and yeah this is about right so press enter and I render our first view we still don't have any textures on it so it doesn't look that bad for now I think it's too yellow actually so we need to press F12 again yeah that's better so okay the lighting is done press 7 at spacebar Add mesh plane, S to scale, go to the front view by pressing 1 and move that plane at the bottom of our cabinet. We don't want our cabinet to be just flying in the air, so we just and S to scale it more. Change the position of that plane to be visible in our camera view we can still check out the results on the uh, right viewport as of 12 all right and another thing I know that this is not very important because this is basically a tutorial about how to model the, the furniture but I like to uh, have it this way so I don't like the blue background so uh, here and the button window windows press uh, world buttons uh, select blend and change this blue to this color press enter render again F12 I like this one much more okay uh, go to top view by pressing press Z to go to I want uh, wireframe and I want to change the position of uh, our lamp by selecting it pressing G and move it a little bit here because our shadows gonna uh, gonna be looking better just put it this way looking better trust me <laughs> All right, go to the front view, and uh, what we got basically trust me there uh, we are doing this lighting settings and everything, but the final result's gonna be much better as it would be without, so I'm just maybe perfectionist. press seven to go to the top view uh with a three d cursor place here, press space add mesh cube I've got a new cube which is gonna work as a as a doors for our cabinet yes yeah? so we need to scale it up on a y axis so press S Y scale it up we can zoom in scale it down to make it to make it thinner 
but we need to zoom out our view because it just doesn't it's no good press scale y again okay that's about good press uh, s x and scale it up to about the same size as our cabinet move it closer scale x again to make it a little bit smaller go to the side view by pressing 3 you'll find it and move it further down go to the front view 1 scale it by pressing S Z to about to the same size as our, as I, as our cabinet S Z again a bit more S Z and now we want to make it half size so press S X zero point five enter move it on one side of our cabinet press zoom in press shift D X and there we go the two doors in our cabinet already the same uh, panel we can say the same board we can use for creating the shelves so press uh, shift D X to duplicate press R to rotate control hold it down control rotate 90 press 3 to go to side view R to rotate control 90 left click confirm move it in st into our cabinet scale it down s y along the y axis move it in now press shift d z and we have another shelf here at the bottom area press 1 to go to the front view so we have a, the bottom shelf selected by holding down shift and right click on the top one select them all and just move them inside S press S X to scale them down a little bit and there we go we got two shelves inside of our cabinets already press A to deselect doesn't look that bad all right another thing we need to do we need to make some handles for our cabinet door so go to the top view by pressing 7 uh, spacebar at mesh cube scale scale it down along the all three axis to about this side now press go to the front view by pressing 1 where are you? Move it down a little bit. Press uh, scale Z. Find the right position for your handle. Now press uh, shift D X and move the duplicated copy on the other side of our cabinet. A to deselect, but we still need to go to the we still need to select them all both so select the first one holding down shift select another one by right click press 3 go to the side view and move them just about here press A to deselect you can check it out in your camera view on your right viewport pressing F12 there we go 
I'm quite happy with that. So now, 